How you doing guys? Jackson here. Another tutorial by me. Um, yeah, got a good response from the last one on Crystal Clear Arts. So I think I'll be doing a lot more. Uh, hopefully this one will be a bit different because I've never seen this anywhere else before. Um, I've only just found out how to do it and it is the simplest thing you can do. But it looks, it looks great. It looks really cool. Um, it reminds me of of a trailer for Forza or something like that where, where like a car's racing and then as it's going forward the paint peels away and you can just see the lines around the car but anyway that doesn't matter that's basically what the tu tutorials <coughs> sorry, based upon so let's get started in Cinema 4D if you don't have Cinema 4D um, I'm sorry but it is great, you should get it um, what you want to do, you want to get your, your scene and everything how you want it, any text, you, I use more graph text object instead of um, the text object in one of these, I, I never use it so I don't even know where it is um, there it is um, I've got my lights and my sky and everything, I'm going to go over to the settings general, normal, 8 put, 1280 by 720 usual, save you want the format Photoshop PSD, Alpha Channel ticked. Um, yeah, so that's good. I'm going to call this. No, the first one I'll do, I'll show you the one with the lines. Uh, to get lines, you're going to want to go to Effect, and then you're, you're actually going to want to find Cell Renderer, um, but I don't think it'll be here because I've already got it up. Uh, no, it's not here, but Cell Renderer will be in there, so don't worry if you don't find it. I mean, if you can't see it on this tutorial, it will be there. So once you click it in the properties, you want to go to edges and tick it. The edge colour you can have whatever you want. I chose purple lines because that's what this colour is, obviously. So the purple lines, it looks a bit, I don't know, it looks a bit neater, I think. So now that that's all done, I'm going to save it. This is going to be line one. Oh, uh, well, that's fine. And you can see it's in lines. So in Photoshop, I'm gonna to wanna to open that up when it comes here. There it is. Now you've got it like that. Now you go to channels, control click alpha, and then just drag that out of there like that. Edit, cut. Let me just sort this out. There you go. So now you've got this, you can do what you want with it. And then basically, you're going to want to do the exact same, but you're going to go back in the settings and uncheck cell renderer. Uncheck? Uncheck, sorry. Um, cancel that, it needs to have a different name, obviously. Line 2. So. While that's doing that, I'll just go back into Photoshop and I'll, uh, I'll open it when that one comes up. There we go. Now I'll go to Channels again, Control Click Alpha. I'm just going to drag this into here. Pop it dead on the line. If you can, well, yeah, get it dead on the line, otherwise it'll just look really out of place. Alright, so basically, there you go, you got your two layers you've got your lines and your your full one just turn the opacity down so I can see what I'm erasing you want to get an eraser that looks like it can distort the paint well not paint but colour um, so I'm going to choose something like this with a lot of lines on it something like that put the opacity back up Just do something like that. Don't matter about the stuff on the right at the moment. Um, you can spend a lot more time on it than I have. Obviously, just get rid of all this. So basically, that's you, you've got the sort of um, ripping off of the color. So to get this effect, where it's sort of like blowing up into the air, all it is is another brush 
Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, just get another brush. And it's one of these distort ones. Uh, that's not it. It'll, it'll do though. Sorry if I'm rushing this, but you get the idea, hopefully. So basically like that, that is basically it, and then I can't really remember what else I did. I think I just put a drop shadow on it or something. Um, just, I don't know. Give it a bit of life, maybe, I suppose. Yeah, that's it. So, I hope you like this tutorial more than the other one because I, I think this is a lot more useful. Do what you want with it. Um, I'm going to end up using it in something that I'm making this week. Uh, so I don't, I don't really mind if people copy it. If that's what a tutorial's for. Otherwise, why would you watch it? But I appreciate you watching this video, guys. Please like and comment and subscribe. Uh, yeah, see you later.